the most predictable cancellation yes. ever. You predicted this. Yeah, I guess a couple months back. Yeah, I because did. you and me were talking about, hey, let's figure out what track meets we want to go to mm-hmm. in 2023. And then I was Googling. I was like, oh, World Relays is this year. Yeah. 2023. Let's go to the World Relays. And you were like, Gordon, that's not going to happen. Yeah. Well, was everything's it? getting canceled in China. Yeah. It's in so, Guangzhou. So the 2023 World Relays have been postponed to 2025. Now, keep in mind, Nanjing was supposed to host World Indoors in 2020. That meet has yet to happen. It went from 2020 to 2021, and now it's going to be 2025. Glasgow is going to happen before – 2024 is going to happen before the 2020 World Indoors, if you've been keeping track. Are they going to still call it the 2020 World Indoors the same way they call, like, the Olympics the 2020 Olympics? When you Google it, it still comes up. Like, that same Wikipedia page, someone's been doing a lot of editing on it. Like, (laughs) keep changing the date, keep changing the date. But, yeah, I mean, anybody's been following the news with the COVID lockdowns in China. This isn't surprising at all. I love the meat. Like, I like the World Relays. I think it's a fun meet. I think it's great when the superstars show up. But even when they don't show up, and if you get just a sprinkling of the top people. You get a couple great moments. Yeah, and it's fun to watch. Relays are one of the favorite parts of any track meet. So it makes sense when you put the fastest people in, it's going to be awesome. So this is a bummer, and there's no other replacement. There's not going to have the World Relays this year. There will be one in 2024, though. But that host site won't be known till november 30th yeah so end of this month they'll announce the 2024 hosts yeah who would you want to host the 2024 world relays well if logistically it works out bahamas or something in the caribbean like that they did a great job i thought okay but not you can't repeat new host oh, new host philadelphia may if they win um that would be cool man new ho no let's go somewhere else Let's go. Imagine if the pen relays became the world relays. Let's go that Kenya. That would be cool. Let's go Kenya. Kenya? The sprint times at altitude would be great. That would be good. The distance times don't matter anyway because it's a distance relay. Yeah. Right? So who, altitude, it, it'll be rough on the lungs, but yeah, let's do it in Kenya. Kenya. Would it be like a, a very beautiful, like what's like an exotic or like very just like scenic type location? I mean, you can do it like in the Mediterranean or something. Yeah. Right? That. Do it out New in Zealand. The, New Zealand? Yeah. Follow, be fun. follow the trail to Mordor yeah. afterwards, too. Yeah, I I like the meat, and they use it for qualifying, too. So now that they don't have that. So how, how are people qualifying for the 2023 World Championships now? They're taking the eight finalists from last year's World Championships in Eugene, combining with the top eight times on the descending order list this year. So we got our first group of. Official qualifiers for the 2023 Budapest World Championships? Well, and those ones were always going to be in. The difference is instead of relying on the World Relays finalists, they're going to go descending order okay. list this year. So I guess it's an opportunity for some countries to, to try to make it. But I just – I mean, we're in October, right? Or November basically now. This They had to have known this is coming for a long time. There's no other way to come up with a backup host. It just shows you that – They're not it's, prioritizing. It's, it. it's really – a drain it's a, it's a big ask to to say hey can you host a global track meet with all these countries involved it's not a thing it's not like rescheduling your 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 school's league meet right you have there's so that much that be, goes into it that can be taxing too the amount of parents involved yeah but this is the amount of governing bodies and getting the visas we saw how big of an issue that yeah, was for, for eugene last year like it, it, it's a tough ask and i think people aren't going to raise their hand unless they're going to be making a lot of money off of it and we know that that's not usually the case with these meets. So I would love to see What if it. Eugene hosted? Well, and that's what I'm thinking. Or just London, like a place that's hosted stuff recently with people from all over the world, like just re-up and, 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 and get it going. But or I get Paris could host to like prep for the Olympics. Yeah. I just, I yeah, it, it's, it's frustrating because if you like the meet, you want to see the meet happen regardless of whether or not one country can't host it especially a country that we thought was going to have this issue and it turns out that they actually do i they should have kept it simple in my opinion you went to war really so you're a better yeah. expert on it's this amazing. Than I, am. I went there yeah. twice in Bahamas. just run it back i don't maybe they didn't want to keep doing it but i would yeah. have kept it there if they wanted it oh just that's just how it's going to be like war relays belongs to this country we're going to keep going there it's close to a lot of places so it'll be like the masters exactly exactly be like Augusta. Be, be like NCAA Outdoors. NCAA Outdoors. <laughs> Same thing, right? Yeah. 
Um, yeah, I just, I mean, I remember the Ryan Bailey over Usain Bolt moment, right? That was a that was a cool World Relays race. You remember? I mean, they had some some four by twos. Kyle Merber made a lot of money, breaking yep. all those world records and, and DMRs and stuff like that. I don't know. It's just a it's a cool break from the normal just Diamond League Continental Tour type meet and to have it go away. I think is uh, is bad for track and field fans. I have an idea. Yeah, let's do indoor world relays. All right, I'm listening. Four, All right. Just a four by four. That's it. A DMR. No, you do DMR. Yeah. You do four by eight. Well, you do four by four. I got bad news for you. You though. do four by two. The world indoor championships isn't happening until 2024 either. And then so. you do four by sixty. Okay. Oh, you run it like shuttle hurdle. Shuttle hurdle right this. Shuttle hurdle style. Oh, we have to go one at a time. You don't have enough lanes, do you? Oh, you have eight. Yeah, you have eight. Yeah. Or four, four v four. Who would be on your uh, four by sixty men's relay? So that'd be cool though. They should start far apart and then move close together. Yeah. So then the final. Yeah. The anchor leg is in four and five. That'd be cool. So one eight two seven three six four five. There'd be a lot of accidental false starts. <laughs> You'd have to time that thing perfectly. Who would be on my four by sixty for the U.S.? Yeah, the men. The men. I uh, gotta go, Coleman. And gotta... order, order. Who's lead off? Who's lead off? Um, well, they're all it doesn't matter because they all have to start. Yeah, they have a good start. No yeah. one's no one's getting the baton when they're moving. Coleman, Bromel, Bracy. If if Baker's healthy, healthy. Baker. Maybe, maybe well, Baker. Williams. Oh, I like. Yeah, okay. I'll go with that. Jamaica women. I go Frazier Price, <laughs> so Lane yeah. Thompson, so basically you're four by Jacks. one. Yeah, four by one. Yeah. yeah, it's not not terrible. Well, no, because four by one, I'd put Lyles in there because the flying start would matter. Yeah, yeah. but well, four Lyles by would 60. not be in a four by six. Four, no, no, not in a four yeah. by sixty. Would Michael Norman be in it? That's the question. You would put him in it. You'd put him in the shuttle hurdles. So that's our uh, story about the world relays. Sorry, ma'am. I know you wanted to go. I did. I wanted to go. I, I, back I had already booked my ticket. I remember back in 2020, we were planning that year before the pandemic started, and Lincoln was dead set on going to World Indoors in Nanjing. And then when that stuff first – we first heard the news about early coronavirus, I thought, I don't know if that's happening. Because I thought at that point, okay, not everything's probably going to get canceled, yeah. but some stuff's going to get canceled. And then in pockets. Yeah. We all know how that ended up.